Everybody and their mother sent me this video. Now apparently this is a crossfitter who does some kind of variation of a swing. I imagine he wants to do an American swing. In this video, I want to demonstrate what the proper swing is supposed to look like. And I also want to give a great suggestion to CrossFit to stop using the American swing and use the snatch instead. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next 30 days. If you want to find out how we do this, check out free ebook in the first link in the description. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. Now, it's apparent that this guy is a CrossFitter, he's at a CrossFit event, and I really believe he wants to do the American Swing. If that's his intention, I think the judges should always go, no count, no count, no count. Because even with the American Swing that I don't like, and I'm going to explain why in a second, the kettlebell has to travel overhead, and in this case, it doesn't. Now, while I think there is some critique to be put out there for CrossFitters, because sometimes their form is off, their technique is off, they always go into the red zone, and even science says that the injury rate is a little bit elevated, I think we don't want to overdo it and miss the mark. Because CrossFitters are very fit, look awesome, have a great body, have high performance levels, and they brought us great training methodologies like EMOM or AMSAT. And they were the ones who told us to combine barbells with dumbbells, with body weight, and with even kettlebells. And while we can say that Pavel Tatsulin was very instrumental in pivoting and popularizing the kettlebell in the Western Hemisphere, we can also say that CrossFit has done their part as well. So let's check out what a normal or regular swing is supposed to look like. Watch. I have a half a meter distance to the kettlebell. I hinge, a crucial movement pattern that you need to understand and you need to learn if you want to power through kettlebell training. You tilt the bell towards you. You swing it with violent action between your legs so that your arm makes contact with your body and your thighs. And from this position, you hip thrust the weight upwards. Boom, through the power of your hips and your legs. And you really want to extend the knee as well as the hip joint. Boom, so that the kettlebell starts flying. As soon as it reaches its top, position or the apex, gravity sets back in and pulls the kettlebell back down. I don't want to interfere, I wait for it until my arms reconnect with my body and as soon as I feel that reconnection, I go back into the hinge. This is a crucial moment that you have to learn because you want to improve the perfect timing to really power through one of the best exercises that you can do with the kettlebell. Now there's also a couple of variations I can do with, with the Russian pendulum, rather soft style, or I can use it with one arm, rather deadlift style that I showed you before. There are a couple of variations, but what the CrossFitters do is the American swing. And the American swing looks like this. Now, I don't like the American swing at all for two reasons. First of all, it puts your shoulder into a delicate position overhead that is not safe. And second of all, it lacks stability. And yes, CrossFitters or judges might say that, but we need a reference point in order to count the exercise. I do understand. But if we lack stability with an exercise that includes a lot of momentum, we set ourselves up for failure. That's the reason why I want to suggest to CrossFitters to change their methodology and start using a snatch instead of an American swing. Watch the snatch. Now the snatch is built on the foundation of the swing with the only difference that the kettlebell stops in that top fixation. So what I have to learn is first of all a solid hand insertion and I learned this with a clean and then I have to make sure that on the way up my arms stay extended because if the elbow bends the power ends. And as soon as I reach that top fixation I have to use stability to stop the momentum. And then I corkscrew the bell back down, let it drop, wait for the arm to reconnect, and here we go again. Now the snatch is a full body monster that trains your full body and every single muscle fiber that you have. 
And you want to power through the hips most definitely. It's not a pulling maneuver. It's all about swinging the belt overhead with the proper amount of momentum, explosiveness, power, speed, and then of course it requires some form of technique. And I think this is a way better exercise than the American swing. So CrossFit, if you're watching this, if that's the case, start substituting the American swing with the snatch. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, consider checking out our ebook. Like I told you, we help busy over 40s get in shape in 30 days with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week. This is why folks over 40, over 50, over 60 gravitate towards the kettlebell because you can get an awesome result with half of the time invested that you will usually spend at a gym. So if you want to find out how we do this, check out our free ebook in the first link in the description.